And oh, there we go. Buddy, hey, nice JP. Time, man. How, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining this interview. So thank you. Who, thank you for having me. Whoever uh, who doesn't know Walid, Walid is the person behind uh, the Moto Nomad. You have about like 50,000 followers, like uh, average like 1,000 likes a picture, and your content is just great and awesome. So, Walid, what I know about you is that you actually uh, learned to do that professional. You went to, to, to school, a film school, right? That's Can correct. you give us a little bit more details about yourself and uh, about the school, what you did? Sure. I, um, so I graduated with a bachelor's in advertising mm -hmm. and um, I worked in an ad agency after I finished. And uh, while I was working on those uh, commercials, I realized that I wanted to be the one, you know, doing the commercials myself. So when I was in New York, I went to study cinematography at the School of Visual Arts. And uh, that's where I learned to, you know, shoot films, commercials and everything to do with filmmaking and photo photography. Is there any project you said that you're working uh, with, uh, with customers or clients together? Is there any favorite project that you have been working on? Um, I guess uh, I've, I've had a lot of favorite uh, projects. I really mm -hmm. love um, working with cars and motorcycles. These are my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, just because I've always been a fan of cars and, and riding motorcycles. So obviously when you shoot something that you love and you're passionate about, it's much easier to, um, you know, find, you know, ways to, to shoot it in the best possible way, especially because you know the subject. Mm -hmm. um, but I do love shooting everything. I love fashion as well. There's a lot of, you know, beauty in fashion and nature and it's just, um, yes, yeah, I love every project I've worked on. <laughs> awesome. So for the audience, if you have any kind of questions, please, uh, please leave them in the question poll. We uh, pull them up later and run through the questions. So Wally, um, yeah. what is your personal camera gear? What, what are you using personally? Yeah, so I um, I started out on Canon when I first started out. I had a Canon mirrorless M5. That was my go-to camera because it was light and it would help me, um, you know, uh, shoot things on the go. That's mainly for when I was shooting personal projects or um, things that I wanted to submit. But, uh, but I've really worked on every camera there is. I've worked on Sony, Fujifilm, um, and also cinema cameras like RED, RE, um, Sony as well. So um, I, I think every project needs a different camera. And uh, like, for example, when we shot with you, we used your camera, the Sony a7 III because at nighttime, it's the best camera to shoot with. So it's kind of always depends. I, I like to look at what I'm shooting first. And I do a lot of preparation in terms of location, scouting and lighting and everything else. So I, personally, right now, I have two cameras, a Canon and a Fujifilm X-T3. Those are my personal. But if I'm going to shoot a commercial, I'm probably going to go look out for some other cameras, either cinema or C300 or depending on the project. Okay, all right, got it. So yeah. you already mentioned that you really like to shoot uh, cars and uh, cars and motorcycles. Do you think there's any something like uh, challenging shooting motorcycle and cars? Yeah, so I think um, the so as even though it is my favorite subject to shoot, I do find that shooting cars and motorcycles is a lot harder than shooting humans, like doing fashion or um, or even shooting a film, um, just because of the motion. So, you know, freezing motion is something that's a miracle, obviously. And uh, the fact that we have cameras that can do that is something that is very um, helpful, but still that comes with challenges. Because even though like when we were shooting together, as you can see, like when you do a panning shot, for example, to show the speed of a motorcycle or a car, you, you do get some in, 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 in frame and they are nice and sharp, but you also have a lot that are blurry just because motion is blurred. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so, of course, it's, it's challenging, but that's part of the fun. You want to be challenged every time you do a project. You want to, you want to feel alive, and that only comes when you're not sure how it's going to come through, you know? You have to be scared. <laughs> true. That's true. So, I have prepared a few pictures. Maybe you want to give us a little bit uh, uh, details about the pictures, where you were, was that uh, for, uh, uh, for a commercial, or sure. what did you do there? Yeah, so, um, yeah, that picture right there is in Joshua Tree. 
uh, that was with uh, my good friend, John Ryan. He's a photographer from Los Angeles. And we were hired by Eagle Rider mm -hmm. to, go out, to go out to the desert with two motorcycles, a Triumph and a BMW, and to shoot together their campaign for um, their go out and enjoy the road campaign. So that was there. That was shot on a Canyon. I believe that was a 40 millimeter lens. And okay. uh, we were at sunset for All that. Right. Yeah. What about this one of the, the Toyota in the bag? Yeah, this was for Toyota. So this was in the Mojave Desert in uh, on, um, a location that we can't disclose because it's, it's, you're not allowed to be there. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we, we have the, um, the new Toyota Tacoma and mm -hmm. uh, we had the pleasure to do a little film for it out in the desert. And uh, that was with John Ryan as well. Um, John Ryan is a great photographer. Uh, I'll, I'll, he's, he's on my page. You can, you can also uh, see his work there. Uh, we mm -hmm. work really well together. And you, you work a lot of, of Lexus as well, is that true? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so I, I've been working for a while with Toyota and Lexus, um, doing a lot of different shoots for their new car releases and um, a lot of their PR com communication work. So I've been I've known them for a while and they're I really lo love their cars. So we have a good relationship, working relationship together. That's good. So on your Instagram, you can find a lot of uh, pictures, but you also um, do uh, short films, videos. That's right. So what, yeah. is, uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to doing stills or, or more video? And why is it so? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. I honestly, um, I think it changes. Uh, I feel like I, when I first started out, I was very, very much in love with just cinematography. All I wanted to do was just film and shoot videos. Mm -hmm. And as I get older, I realized that I find a lot of beauty and magic in still photography because um, I feel like there's more of a challenge to tell a whole story in one frame, as opposed to when you shoot films, you get the chance to really give a message and communicate to other people. It's almost a little easier to send a message with a film than with what, just one picture. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's, yeah, it's hard to say. I, I definitely, I think cinematography is always going to be my, my passion, no matter what. So. Right. Yeah. So yeah. let me pull up some questions in the question poll. So for all the sure. people just tuning in, if you have any questions, please leave them in the question poll. So um, uh, one question is from S1000R is, uh, how will traveling less with impact your work? How is what? Sorry? How will traveling less will impact your work? You mentioned that you, you were traveling a lot to the West right. Coast and right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, tr and, uh, well, you know, right now traveling has, uh, has, and not being able to leave has impacted my work dramatically because I don't really have that much work. I, um, I left my house the other day with a, with a fellow colleague to go shoot a car for a magazine. Um, we went to Bear Mountain, but mm -hmm. of course I was far, I was up in the, on a hill shooting as he came through on the curves. So, um, there was no contact, but yeah, there is basically no work at the moment. I don't really get any, um, any, anyone reaching out, any customers, any clients. There's no one at the moment. So it has impacted it negatively, obviously. But I think that's for everyone is the same. So I, I can't, uh, I just have yeah. to hope for the best. Yeah. Another question that I got is, uh, what is your most memorable shooting location and why? Oh, my most memorable shooting location is probably the Mojave Desert in an undisclosed location because while we were there, um, there was army people who came up to us and was asking us what we were doing because it was a, it was an army site. So yeah, that's probably my uh, <laughs> most <laughs> memorable. <laughs> we were pretty alarmed. But you didn't get in trouble, right? Uh, we weren't. We didn't get in trouble. Uh, we hadn't. Uh, we didn't have. Uh, uh, we didn't know we didn't we didn't stay too long to get in trouble we were we were told to leave and so we left mm -hmm. yeah okay cool i'm putting another picture is uh is that alexis yes or the campaign yeah so this is uh this is a shoot for the for the 2020 lexus ls which mm -hmm. is their luxury um sedan comparable to a seven series of bmw or an s class and mercedes it's a beautiful car and uh, yeah, I had the luxury to shoot this campaign with Hugo mm -hmm. and um, you can find the full, the full campaign on my website.
Nice. Uh, this was shot on Fuji Film XT3. Nice. All right. Yeah. So yeah. for for people getting into photo uh, photo stuff and filmmaking, um, do you have any tips how they getting actually clients and how you, you get into contact with them? That's a good question. Yeah. So the thing about when when I went to study um, when I went to study cinematography, I realized that one thing that really um, I noticed a lot is that people or the professors, they never really talk to you about how to get clients. That's not <laughs> something that you learn in school. And um, it's actually, I think it's actually the most important thing because you, when you learn all the technical and maybe you have the skill too, then you go out in the world and you have this skill and you have this passion, you have this technicality, but then you, you realize that you don't know how to get these clients. And mm -hmm. that's something that um, demotivates a lot of people. And uh, basically, I really, I think my main advice for people to get clients is probably to reach out, um, reach out, uh, do a lot of, um, in the beginning, start out, do a lot of free, maybe test shoots for brands that you really believe in. Um, I don't really believe in doing free, free work. I would never tell someone go work for free. But if you want to work with a certain level of brands, go offer, show them what you can do first before you ask them for money because the, for the majority of the time, they usually have agencies or people doing that stuff for them. So for you to take their space, you know, you need to prove yourself. And that's with every job is the same. Nice, nice. So I'm yeah. showing, uh, showing a video now, the package. Can you give us a little bit of background of what that was? Yeah, so the package was a little um, concept that I came up with when we were assigned by a brand, a swimwear brand called Thorson. Mm -hmm. um, so the brand is originally from California, but they're based in New York. The owner is from California. He grew up there and uh, he basically does shirts and swimwear that are pretty cool. Like these ones you see in the, the, the footage. And um, he, he wanted to kind of show that uh, his brand, you know, originated in Cali, but now is being sold everywhere. So I got the idea to do how about there was some guys smuggling the swimwear out from California desert to, <laughs> to like other places, you know? So we came up with this and we love bikes. So we included, let's get their bikes. Let's get, you know, the desert, let's put everything we love. And we just made this campaign um, showing that we're like, you know, this mystery. And in the end they reveal just um, swimwear, you know? Nice, nice. This is yeah. Cool. All right, let me see what I got here. Something with snow, what was that about? So that was that was for the Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a car that I've grown up admiring all my life. I, I actually the reason why my page is called the Moto Nomad is because I love to travel mm -hmm. uh, on motorcycle and on, with car, just in general with any motor, any engine. And um, I don't like to travel even that much with cars. Honestly, I, I really prefer traveling with motorcycles because you see much more of the world. So. Um, what happened here is that I, I, I wanted to do something for the Toyota Land Cruiser. They had the new car, the new release, but they were worried, you know, that the, the car now is, is looking um, so uh, new and, tech and advanced that they thought that people are losing the sense that that car is still a rugged car that can go off-road and do a lot of off-roading. So what I said is, you know, let me take the car somewhere that's completely isolated and very, very difficult to ride. The terrain is like very difficult. And let's see how the car handles. Mm -hmm. So I took the car up to the Adirondacks of north of New York, very, very north. It's very cold there in the winter. As you can see, there's like snowstorms and all kinds of crazy weather. And I went there and I stayed there for a week and I just got footage of the car and, and uh, you know, footage of like the snowstorms and everything and sh basically showing that the car is very strong still and can take, you know, can weather the storms. Nice, nice. Yeah. Let me pull up another video. DJI, I see here. I think that's your reel, isn't it? Yeah, that's my that's my cinem that's my cinematography reel. Yeah, for all my commercials, everything that I shot over over the over the years. Yeah, I try I try to update that every year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know it's, it takes a lot of time. So sure. all right, before we wrapping this up, let me see if there are more questions and a question sure. for. Um, question is, uh, do you use drones? Yes, I use a Mavic, Mavic Pro 2 drone. Okay. Yeah. And maybe find another one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, do you use anamorphic lenses? Yes, I use anamorphic lenses. I have a Russian anamorphic lens that I use 
I've used it in a music video because I wanted to get the sun flaring on someone's guitar. Um, yeah. That video is on my website, I think. Um, I, I, I think it has great uses, but um, it's very difficult to find good anamorphic lenses for a good price. They're very expensive. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. So uh, let me see what I say right here. I think that's y yourself, right? On your bike? No, this is actually my friend Andrew Vecchio on the bike, and that's me shooting him on my bike. That's my bike, yeah. That's your bike. Yeah. That was yeah. recently, and you did that for Husqvarna, or what's the story? Uh, yeah, I did that recently um, just by my house. Um, I, I looked at the Husqvarna pictures, and I felt like this bike, since I have it, it didn't have that many nice photos. So I thought, you know, let me send them more in photos. <laughs> so I sent it to them, yeah. And I, I think you also did a video with, with the bike, right? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, a, I did a video for, their, uh, like, like for the communication, for the, for the company communication. Because mm -hmm. there, there, there's a warehouse n nearby and they do all kinds of motor, motor, motor building and stuff like that. So I went in there and we were filming. Nice. And what camera gear did you use for that shoot? This was all shot on a Fujifilm X-T3. Nice. 4K. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What is, uh, let, let's wrap this up here. Where sure. can people find more information about you and the, the videos and the pictures? Where should they go? I think my website is probably the best place to go to see everything that I've done. Um, in, ter um, in terms of um, if someone needs to reach out, I'm always happy to answer questions on dm or whatever email you know um, i'm happy I'm, I'm here to help yeah when i started out i used to reach out to a bunch of people to ask them you know oh i love your work how do you do it how do you prepare how do you so i i'd like to repay that to to whoever wants to know nice I can just confirm that. I remember when we met, then I reached out to you and said, "Hey, you want to collaborate on something?" And we yeah, like, let's go, let's do it. Yeah, I was, I was actually gonna stay. I, I was very lucky and happy to meet you and to work with you. I really enjoyed the the little film that we shot together. You're a great actor and creator too. Uh, so. <laughs> I would say that I'm a good actor though. But yeah, you had but Ethan from one thing is for right? sure, you're a great motorcyclist. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's you right there in the in the video um it was really fun shooting that you yeah. you you're great to shoot when you ride i love taking pictures of you and videos and should definitely do that once the quarantine is over yeah for sure we, we need to go out there again what do you, thank you so much for joining thank us. thank you so much and yeah again make sure to follow your body uh, the motor nomad uh, instagram and uh, if you want to uh, learn more about his work, go on his website. What was your website again? So my website is feelsvisual.com. It's going to be in my uh, bio, feelsvisual.com. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Wadi, thank you so much for joining Thank you so much, JP. Take care. Take man. care. Bye-bye. Great day.